Hi Leos, welcome back to I Enigma. This is Enigma. Let us do your read for your love life. Let's see who is your soulmate. This is going to be for all of you Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs in Leos or dealing with one. Since this is a general reading, take what resonates and what does not resonate. For more personals, reach out to me on WhatsApp, Instagram and email. I do my previous spells as well. And we have crystals which are intention charged and high vibrational. All right, we only have limited stocks. So all those who want to grab their hands on your favorite crystal, please reach out to me. And if you want to be a part of my Saint Expedite workshop, which is a workshop used to fulfill any urgent wish or any wish if you want to fulfill urgently. It's the simplest ritual which I have been using. It's a particular way I've been doing it and it's given me great results. And it's quick and easy method. So all those who want to be learning the Saint Expedite workshop, which is like more on a more personal level workshop. It's not something that I'm advertising. Uh, you can join on WhatsApp where there is no time limitation and discussions are always open. So for that, you can reach out to me on email, WhatsApp or Instagram. Check out my Instagram for more stuff. Every month, free predictions in short. And follow my Instagram to stay connected for more. Like, share, comment and subscribe to this channel for more videos on your sign. Let's see, Leo. Some of you, I'm hearing Virgos. Are you, are you dealing with Virgo? If you are, then this could be very, very specific for you. Let's see, Leo, what's happening. Wow, your life is about to change. Big changes. Big changes in your life, okay? I feel like a whole new cycle is about to start in your life so get ready be prepared you might travel you might meet someone at a long distance or you've discovered your life purpose either of this these three okay the justice oh major arcana two the justice and the knight of cups 21 and 11, 3 and 2. Wow. I feel like you're about to meet someone really fast. You've just met this person. And very soon, it's moving towards commitment, lifelong commitment. Because the justice is all about success, getting what you want. So you have found the one that suits you, that matches your vibe, that's meant for you after a long wait after discovering after traveling around the world or i don't know what have you been doing what is whatever is comfortable for you i feel like after going through a lot a new cycle has started where someone is showing you extreme care and attention and this is a connection you might come to me and ask me okay i need a personal reading i want to know will this con will this connection work out will this reach fruition and i'll tell you here only it will yeah, I feel like this person is uh, extremely like loyal, dignified, loving and caring Leos. I feel they really care for you. You may know who this person is. I feel they're also trying to heal you in a way, listen to you, uh, provide you sensitive uh, uh, ears to help you, you know, remove all the pent up energy. Whatever it is, I feel this person is like there to heal you somewhere. Some of you, their profession could involve academics or arts and entertainment, like cinematography. And then you're having the lovers, could be a Gemini coming in. Ooh, you're still open to other options. You have a lot of options coming through, for sure. You have more than one options coming in. So you're like, right now, taking notes inside your mind okay this this person is like that they've said this to me they've said that to me you're kind of like observing you're not in this energy of showing uh what you feel or even opening up your heart to anyone but you're observing these options okay so i feel like they're coming towards you a lot of care and attention and finally this time has come where you'll be choosing or there's something in your mind going on that's keeping you in this confused energy. So you want to wait. You want to see how things go. 
So maybe you want to take it slow for stay for a few months and then uh, take it forward. I'm definitely seeing this connection very clearly showing me that it's going towards marriage. It's going towards fruition. It's going towards getting together and having the same house, you know, sharing all these sorrows and joys in life. Like this person wants to share the whole life with you. So I'm definitely seeing that this is this is something that is going towards marriage. That's going towards fruition. You are the one that is in confusion here right now. Don't try to get personal reading, guys. For this situation, if you're in this situation, some of you dealing with a Libra, you guys need to chill out more and go with the flow. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, possible. Ten of Pentacles and a magician is like whatever you're working on. Like maybe there's there's a work, there's a dream job that you have in your mind, or you're working on your goals. You might get a major major project. You might land up there, or the com amount of uh, salary that you're getting, the promotion, the hike that you're getting, it's just unexpected, unbelievable. I feel there's some rise in your income taking place. It's all, all because of your smartness, smart work and hard work. I'm also seeing you putting your passion in your work. If you put your passion in your work, yours, mark my words, there's no one that can take this uh, success away from you. Your success is meant to be at the top of the game. You will be in the top of the game. You'll see the results happening. If you're working on something, give it like one month time, you'll see the results. Or in 2024, January, you'll start seeing the results. Eight of Cups. Oh, I feel like Leo's. Um, you're very confused. That should I? Do I want to get married? Or who should I trust? Who should I not trust? Because every time you feel like you want to trust someone, there's something that kicks in, and you want to reject that person. Okay. You get disappointed with options. You're tired. You need somewhere. I feel like you're also setting a solid boundary because of your past divorce or past ending or whatever it was in the past. It was heartbreaking. So you have become that person where you are a little colder and distant to the other person. And you also have very strong boundaries. So you're in, still in this confusion. Should I give this a chance or should I not give this? What will happen if it doesn't work out? At least you gave it a shot. So it's a really important to give give a shot. If you feel like this connection is worth it, give it a shot. So the two of pentacles and four of wands is like you both want this marriage. You both want this, okay? You both have gone through tough times in your love life in the recent past. And now you both are valuing uh, emotions and lifelong commitment. Ace of wands is a new beginning here. I feel this person is saying, uh, their heart out, they're going to pour their heart out, they're going to tell you how they feel, they're going to um, show a lot of passion towards you. You're their passion, you're the one that they want to paint life with. Okay, so you're the person that they dream of being with the rest of their life, and I feel like they're going to convey this to you very soon. They are immediately coming in to propose. Now, things can go downhill if you keep yourself in this. Uh, distant energy cold energy so that is one suggestion that they really want your warmth and care and happiness when they're around i'm also seeing you are a little too um observant or they feel like you're testing them or you're judging them i feel somewhere they're a little insecure of this so this can cause uh fight or short-term short uh, separation and the ten of swords so this person is someone that is different that's going through different things you're going through different things but they really want to understand they really want you to understand them and understand that both of you are going through different situation in life okay but I'm definitely seeing that whatever doubts you've been having they will come out clear in your head you will know what you want Libra energy is strong. Knight of Pentacles. Queen of Wands. 
Some of you are dealing with a Scorpio. I feel like you used to take care of your health a lot. Some of you, some of you used to, but most of you are still. But what I'm seeing is, uh, it's time for you to give major importance to your health and fitness. Because that will change a lot about how you're thinking and how you're expecting your life to be. Okay, so there is a need to nourish your mind. Because someone has drained you immensely. And your magic is lost somewhere or was lost somewhere. It's coming back. You're transforming yourself with exercise, with uh, doing things that make you happy, with doing, you know, uh, with like joining a hobby class or whatever makes you happy. I feel like you started doing that. I feel like that will give a unique aura, a unique personality to you. To you. When they see you, they'll know that you've changed so much there's something about you that's like becoming more and more exciting and attractive the other person is getting more and more attracted towards you so there's transformation in your health taking place and mindset also okay so you don't need to exercise regularly that's also what i'm hearing like once so you know three once in three days is perfect um or three times a week is perfect okay and then you have the Ace of Cups energy. This person is, you might, might meet this person at a fitness place. Okay. Or near the cremation ground. I just heard that. I'm not sure. But that might be a very, very specific thing to say. But yes, I've heard that. But what I'm seeing is, you guys, I feel like when you guys connect with each other, guys going to fall in love. This person is very loving. Okay. So there is a new beginning here. The Ace of Cups. You will see this person is coming with a very sweetheart energy. Like the way they're talking to you. Is like their words are showing a lot of emotions. A lot of love. You're going to respect that. Empress. This person wants to wife you. Or this person wants to be your wife depending upon you're a male or a female or whoever watching this, they want to marry you. They see you as a marriage material. I'm seeing there is a possibility of pregnancy with this person. Giving birth to a child with this person because we had the world card. You guys, I feel this person is already dreaming about having children with you. And they're very serious. You know what? Leos, you're going to lay a very, very solid foundation in your work. Get ready because I feel like you've started putting your heart and soul into your work and that heart and soul into your work is going to give back to you 10 times more than you expect. Very soon, if not in one month, then in January 2024, mark my words. It's time for you to become action-oriented in your love life, in your financial matters, whatever it is. Do it now. If you're saying, I'm doing, it, I'm doing it, I'm doing it tomorrow. No, do it now. Okay, that's the message for you. The temperance. You still have this uh, period, Leo's, where you may feel like sometimes things are difficult. Sometimes things come too easy. Sometimes you might feel in your love life, uh, this person is uh, not showing... Uh, you know the kind of connection that you were expecting sometimes they're good sometimes they're a little off sometimes you are off sometimes you're good it's important over here the universe is saying to balance to adjust adjustment in this connection is required for you leos no matter what the situation is don't expect 100 percent i'm not saying that this person has to be on and off and not available for you but being there for you always on the phone always by your side 100 percent like 100 you know uh 24 7 throughout the day is kind of tough or giving them hard you know um time to impress you or to justify you how much they love you is also something that's going to ruin everything so there is a energy i'm seeing in this whole spread there is a possibility that you expecting too much can ruin the whole 
a sense of disconnection. They really want you to give them some space and you also need some space. So there is a need of balancing, trying to balance the things because maybe you might feel like the connection is too imbalanced. Some of you are Sagittarius is here. Okay, one suggestion for you from the universe is that you need to be action oriented and logical. Your person is more emotional, I'm sensing. This person is an Aries for some of you. I'm feeling they've decided or they're going to decide really soon that you're the one that they want to marry. Yeah, they're deciding it very soon, I feel. I think they want to make it legal that you guys are married, official that you guys are married. They're taking help of an advocate. They're taking help of government offic officials or something. They just want to make things work. I feel this is someone very strong. You know, the work that they're doing, they're authoritative, they're strong, they have a strong willpower. They're there to take care of you or vice versa. I'm seeing you both are on a high page in life. You both are like having good positions, but the love life needs to be, you know, taken into control. So yeah, I feel like this person is someone that is a boss or that has steam under them. And yeah, they're, they're quite rich. They're quite rich. They do a lot of like crypto or investments or savings. I feel that's the kind of a person that you're attracting. Six of Pentacles. The hangman. You're awaiting a magical connection to flourish between you guys. You don't even have any idea how this connection is going to change your whole life. Everything is about to turn around in your life magically. Okay? So showering of uh, their love, their commitment. You guys are going to announce your wedding. You're going, you guys are going to celebrate this very soon. This connection is moving forward fast. I know there's a hangman, but the connection, after giving it a good time, you guys are going to announce it, that this is happening. Pisces energy. I'm seeing there's a major change in your money taking place. Oh, your person is quite rich and wild. Yeah, this person is having everything they, you need. Oh my gosh, great fortune. Even though you don't want this person's money, but they have a lot of financial stability in their life. That will never cause you financial trouble or they'll always be by your side. Guys. What else? Initially, they were just taking some time and a little on and off, but I feel like they've started to understand. Yes, there is a need of keeping patience in this connection. They're also trying to understand what is this because they have been hurting over the past a heartbreak and they've gone through a lot. So it's difficult for them to open up their heart again, but this is the time where they're opening up their heart to you again. At that time, they were not very ready, but after getting to know you more, this person started to feel the connection strongly. There's a lot of passion between the two of you. I feel you guys, the way you guys connect passionately is no one else can. This is your soulmate and this is the one. from day one this person is falling in love with you you may doubt this but this connection definitely needs a lot of understanding getting to know each other 
you have everything to be loved. Yeah, this could be a healer. Okay. This person could be a doctor. I'm sensing this from first to end. They could be a doctor or they know how to heal. Whatever they do, they're into Reiki and stuff or they just know how to take care of you. This person is going to heal you within or you're going to heal this person within. You know, deep inside, this is the one and this has been sent to you by angels. Some of you, 43, 44. 444 is the number you will be seeing often. One advice, please. Be sensitive. I feel this person is sensitive, very sensitive. So they may get hurt very soon. So be sensitive to what you're saying because they can get hurt by you. have cancer coming in you have aquarius coming in you have libra coming in from aries to pisces what does your person think and feel for you leos Aries is coming to you, is a little hesitant, but they want to propose you. The Taurus right now is, uh, I feel like they're either getting gaslighted or they're just not opening up emotionally. Uh, they might be playing mind games. Gemini is very, very attracted to you. Cancer is a little distracted. They have other things going on. Leo is very interested in you. They want to date you. Virgo. Virgo is keeping it to themselves, I feel, right now. They're more interested in their money. Libra. Libra wants to have a new beginning. If this is a new person, if this is a past person, this is the end. Scorpio is walking away because they think that you're not interested. And Sagittarius is coming back with a loyal offer. Capricorn is making a decision over you. Serious one. Aquarius wants to be there by your side no matter what. They are very protective of you. Pisces wants to marry you. Let's see the charms. There's some sort of a law situation going on with probably a Scorpio. If, if you, there is a legal issue going on, you guys will be setting yourself free because this, this person is no more going to trouble you. The legal thing will settle down in your favor. Someone reads Quran, believes in Quran a lot. Someone from Quebec, Australia, Russia, Rome, Italy. Um, someone's, someone's from Romania, Queensland, America. Someone is into spiritual sciences. Someone's name is Ronnie, Robbie, Robert, Roger, Richard. Someone's name starts from O. You guys like, I feel like love Italian food. <clears throat> Someone's surname has Kureshi, Rakib. Russia. I'm also seeing they belong to royal family. Old fashioned. This person could be from USA or you guys are planning to go or you guys are planning for a higher study. I'm definitely seeing finally there's going to be a wedlock. There's going to be marriage here. All right. In a very traditional manner with all cultures and rituals followed. I'm seeing Quran here. Someone's name is Roop. 
I'm also seeing aura. Like I feel like your aura is very magnetic these days. Someone's from Romania. Yeah. You could be a light worker. Or your person could be as a side hustle, I would say. Some of you, there's a connection happening through Cora. Ortega could be the surname. Someone, uh, someone has a diamond business, I feel. Someone has owns a club. Yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. So I hope you've enjoyed this read. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and comment. Come back for more. I'll see you back again. Bye.